Hi, I'm Yao. I'm the co-founder and CEO of ODK. In today's presentation, I want to talk about what ODK is, share a little bit about the project's impact, and show a demo of our real-time data feed. Let's get started. Some of you already know what ODK is, but for those who don't, ODK lets you build powerful offline forms to collect the data you need wherever it is. It's data collection software that's designed to work really well offline. Now we make ODK for everybody, but our focus is on social impact and really empowering those who are making positive change around the world. Because of this mission, ODK is open source software. We built it in a community oriented way that enables organizations and countries to take some ownership of the platform. Just as an example, we have more than 14,000 people from all over the world who are on our forum. And these folks participate in our community of practice and help us make ODK what it is. Historically, you've had to be pretty technical to get started with ODK, but that's changed. You can, as always, install ODK for free on your own servers, but ODK now also provides cloud hosting, so you no longer need any technical skills to get started. You can sign up for an account, put in your payment details, and you can have a fully managed and fully supported server in no time. And for those who want to do more and go faster, we do offer consulting services now, and we can do everything from in-country in or local hosting to custom branding to sponsored features. So why use ODK? You know, ODK has become the standard for offline data collection for millions of people because, because it works really well. You can build forms that include photos, calculations, skip logic, and repeating elements. You can also play videos and send SMSs or collect GPS traces. Now these features, they work within the mobile app so you can collect data there or the web app. And again, it all works offline. With a new server, you can connect tools like Power BI or R directly to ODK. And I'm gonna demo some of that. And you can quickly build dashboards and reports and share them with your uh, stakeholders of your project. ODK is regularly used to collect millions of submissions in, in across all industries, it's pretty much used in every sector um, that you've heard of. And if it doesn't do exactly what you need it to do, you can extend ODK or try compatible alternatives. That to me is the power of open source. And that's the power of ODK. I wanted to highlight a few examples of ODK projects, particularly at scale, to give you a sense of what it's used for. Um, just a few months ago, Nigeria deployed about 70,000 data collectors to map and document million small, 2 million smallholder farms with ODK. So that's a great example. And in the health space, the World Health Organization, WHO, uses ODK for much of its disease surveillance. It's the leading tool, the leading tool for COVID-19 response in low and middle income countries. Folks like the Red Cross use ODK for their m and &E, their monitoring and evaluation. The Jane Goodall Institute uses it to track ape habitats across Africa. In Honduras, the government has, I think, something like 80,000 teachers. And these teachers are tracking the educational process, progress of about 2 million students with ODK. And then the Carter Center uses ODK for election monitoring and, and contentious elections and, and non-contentious elections as well. For today's demo, I don't have a ton of time. I want to show you our real data feed, real-time data feed, and show you how you can use it for dashboards, integrations, and more. To make the demo real, I'm going to use a simple farmer registration form with GPS points and some crop information. Um, so let's let's get started and see how it goes. So first, I'm going to switch here to our uh, project view on the demo server. You can see that I've got two forms here, our farmer follow up form and the farmer registration form. The registration form has a few submissions already. So let me just add one more submission using the web form. So I'm going to click here to see the submissions. And then I'm going to click the new button to get the submission here. Um, you can use the web form, which I'm using here because it's easy to demo, but you can also use um, the web app. So it's going to ask, what's my name? Uh, let's say my name is uh, Peter. And what primary crop am I farming? I am farming potatoes. Uh, and then where is, is, is the farming happening? So I'm based here in San Diego. So let me zoom out and see if I can find a nice spot that we can we can do this farming. I think this uh, parking lot at the San Diego Zoo is a great spot to do that farming. 
So I'm going to do that and hit submit. OK, so the data has been submitted. And if I go back to the central uh, web interface and I hit refresh, you can see just right now Peter farming potatoes with the GPS uh, location. So that's great. Now, where things get really exciting is that I want to analyze this data, right? Um, I want to use it for something like um, a, a dashboard. With ODK, we have this button here called Analyze via OData. I'm going to click on it. This is a standard uh, link, a data feed that you can copy and paste into Power BI or R or some other analytics software. You can use it to visualize your data in real time. So I'm going to show you that. Um, to do that, I'm going to switch here to Power BI, and I've got everything set up here. Um, you can see that we already have, some, I'm going to zoom in. Uh, you can see that we have some of the submissions already, but we don't have uh, Peter's uh, potato. Um, I'm going to switch to this map interface, and you can see here the old submissions that I made. And we already have a new submission, so I'm going to hit refresh, and we'll wait to see if we can see the data uh, show up. Hit refresh. All right, we'll give it a moment. Power BI is a little slow on my connection here, so uh, thanks, for your, <laughs> thanks for your patience. We'll wait for, for the trial server to send in the submissions. And we'll scroll a little bit. It says it's working on it, so that's great. Aha, so we see that a new submission appeared here. I'm going to mouse over it. You can see that, yes, it is indeed Peter, uh, the potato submissions that we, we just submitted. So that's great. So you can share these dashboards um, with all your project stakeholders. You can, you can publish them. You can do all sorts of fancier um, analytics. So let me see if I can switch here. Here, for example, is like, you know, an, the number of people who are farming potatoes down here versus the number of people who are farming mangoes. So you can build all sorts of complicated uh, dashboards and, and share them uh, and publish them as you see fit. So we think it's, it's pretty great. Let me go back to the, to the slide deck here. So that's all I have for this demo. I really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, to summarize, ODK lets you build powerful offline forms and you can collect the data that you need wherever it is. Uh, with our new real-time data feed, you can also make a sense make sense of your data really quickly uh, through Power BI or R or some of the other analytics packages that people use. Um, if you have any questions about ODK or would like to try it yourself, please do email me. My contact information is right there at the bottom of the slide deck, and I'll be glad to help you get started. Thanks so much, and have a great day.